Hi there, Neil Clark here from Falkirk Piping, www.falkirkpiping.com. Welcome to the channel. Videos contained here are designed as aid memoirs for my pupils, although they're free for anyone to use. If you're benefiting from the videos, please subscribe to the channel. This is completely free to do. May I also ask that you consider supporting my chosen charity, Parkinson's UK, by donating to my Just Giving page. The link to that page may be found in the comments box below this video. I'm going to talk about uh, cadences today, and uh, that's C-A-D-E-N-C-E-S, Charlie Alpha, Delta Echo November, Charlie Echo Sierra. Um, they are a P-Brock movement, but they are found also in light music, and have been in light music for some time, it's not a new thing. Uh, they're found in Kilworth Hills, which is a 1920s tune, I think. Uh, certainly at the latest. Anyway, it's one of these movements which is a lot easier to explain by playing it than by seeing it. Because when it's in Pibroch, it's usually either abbreviated or it's written into an embellishment. We'll have a little, little look at that in a minute. But the tune that actually brought this up, that kick-started this video, is the, uh, On the Road to Passchendaele by Gavin Stoddart. And let's just play the first two bars of that tune. Now, if you already know cadences, you'll be thinking, sitting thinking, what's all the fuss about? The fuss tends to occur with uh, adult learners who read music. If you don't read music, it's not so much of an issue because you're not seeing this grace note or however it's written. Uh, you are shown how to play it and you remember that. So, uh, if we have a quick look at The Road to Passchendaele, we're not going to get all professional and uh, flash the music up on the screen for you, but you can see that it's circled all the way down. We have a doubling on E and what looks like a D grace note to the C there. So the doubling on E and the D grace note there to the C. Now, we can't do a D grace note to C. We can't go... Well, we'd have to play the C first, or a lower note first. So, the first thought by the music reader is, is that wrong? Maybe it's a G grace note. It's not a G grace note. It's... What you have to do is sort of take your bagpipe music reading head off and just look at it as finishing the doubling on E, on the E, and then moving through the D to the C. Excuse the dog ripping up my cardboard box behind me. So, we play a doubling on E, and then we move through the D. In this case, it's a full D because we're just going down to the C there. And it should sound like a curve. I'm going to try and not get caught hitting this dog in video. Anyway, so let's put that back into the tune. So it's a nice smooth transition. It's, it's a nice sound. Uh, the cadence E, D, C. E, D, C. Now, I'm hoping that the, that the light bulbs just went on. Um, I have, I can think of about 10 people that have had real difficulty because they're reading the music and they see this grace note and the brain's saying, grace note, grace note, grace note, and all sorts of combinations come in. It's a cadence, okay? Now, while we're here, we're just going to uh, go through the other cadence that you're likely to encounter much less likely to encounter in light music, but you may well encounter it. And the reason that I would like to go through it is the D is a single finger only in the cadence to B. The cadences are generally to C and B. The one to... Uh, now, going back to this grace note thing, uh, the, the D it isn't, it isn't a grace note, it's part of the cadence, but it is part of an embellishment. So if you weren't going to C, you would just use the single finger only. And we're going to go to B in this one. Now 
Now that one might feel a little bit alien at first because you're not used to having that D grace note up, D, D finger up by itself other than of course in a D grace note. Now, the other thing we're going to quickly look at, um, I'm going to come back to the Road to Passion deal in a second, uh, but it's worth having a look at the way that the thing is written. Now, this is Scott's Gars Book 2, and I hope I'm in focus there. There we go. Okay. So, here we have the cadence written as an embellishment. Now, if you look reasonably closely at that, what you'll see is that the the <laughs> back with you I told you this this is a, a real technical failing of mine but the G grace note is a G grace note if you look closely in the middle of that embellishment it's a long E so it's shown as a quaver and of course being P Brock we actually play it for longer than a quaver so we have a G grace note to E and through the D to the C. So that's a cadence as well. And that's the way that you're generally going to encounter it written in P Brock. So you have to keep your wits open, uh, your eyes open, uh, and just have a look at what that embellishment actually is. It's not some crazy doubling. It is a cadence from E to C. I'll quickly play that. It's the same movement. And in the tune it'll go... Okay, and carries on from there. So, <clears throat> the only other, it's, it's not really, um, shortened as such with, with, with a description shown in the key is, but uh, you will encounter that in Peabrock as it looks like a doubling. Look at the middle part of the doubling. The clue's in there, it's a long E. And of course, being Peabrock, it's actually longer than is shown as well. Now finally, just to show that uh, this stuff has been around for absolute ages, we're going to quickly look at Kilworth Hills for so a G.S. McClellan tune. Uh, there we go, so bar number two there. And... Okay, uh, so this has been going on for some length of time, it's not a new thing. Okay, and uh, I can't put the music for the Road to Passion Dale up because it's still under copyright. I hope Gavin won't mind me showing two bars off it. Um, but the movement, I had to teach this to a band uh, two years ago, and it was a big band, about 20 players. You can guarantee 10, 15 of them just did never understand un understood this at all. Cadence, not a D grace note. And we need to hear that D. Don't make it... It's, it's, it's a rolling movement. It's a nice gentle movement. This in the cadence by itself. What you'll also find, maybe worth stating this just at the end, is the cadences also come a lot before the double echoes in Pebroch. Don't worry too much about that. Try the cadences. Make sure it's a nice round movement, long E, and a substantial D before you go down. Grace notes shown as a demi semi quaver, maybe a semi quaver. Okay, good luck with that, and uh, we'll hear it in the tune. <laughs> 